Hello friends, let's see what Mr. Harbhajan Singh is discussing with Saraswati Madam who has a fascinating approach to facilitate learning through tangrams. Saraswati Madam, I have always wondered why we teach tangrams to students. What's the purpose behind it? Ah, tangrams. It's not just about shapes. Playing with tangrams offers multiple benefits such as improving problem solving, logical thinking, visual spatial understanding, creativity and the learning of various mathematical concepts. Let's go to Saraswati Madam's classroom where she is about to introduce the magical world of tangrams to her students. The objective of this tangram activity is to not only create the puzzle but also to develop visual spatial skills and enhance logical thinking among students. This activity is suitable for learners of classes 3 to 5. To make tangrams, each learner needs an A4 size colored origami sheet, a pair of scissors, a ruler. Today, we are going to create our very own tangram puzzle using just an A4 size colored origami sheet. Cut a square from the A4 sheet. This square will be the base of our tangram puzzle. Fold the square sheet diagonally as shown. Cut along the folded line. You will have two triangles. Set one triangle aside for now. Take the other triangle and fold that in half to make two similar triangles. Cut along the folded line. They are your first two tangram pieces. Take the triangle that you set aside. Fold it partially in half. Be careful! Do not fold it completely. This is to find the center of the longer side. Fold the top corner of the triangle over so that it touches the center of the long side of the triangle. Cut along the folded line. Set that new triangle aside. This is your third piece of the tangram. Take the remaining paper, fold this in half so that all edges meet. Crease the fold, then flatten the two parts again. Now, take one side of the part and fold its pointed tip inwards until it meets the center of the longer side of the whole piece. Then. Cut along the folds you just made. This gives you the two new pieces for your tangram puzzle. A square and a small triangle. Keep them aside for now. Mark these two opposite corners A and B on the leftover second half of the paper. Fold in a way that corner A meets the opposite corner B of the paper piece as shown on the screen. Cut along the fold and you have your last two tangram shapes, another small triangle and a parallelogram. And here we made all the seven pieces of our tangram puzzle. The process of creating this puzzle itself is a valuable learning experience for students. Assembling these pieces into different figures encourages creativity and problem solving. Alright students, now can you arrange these seven pieces to form the square again? Students enjoy solving these kinds of puzzles. Just see how they are happily engaged in Saraswati Madam's class. They rearrange the puzzle pieces to create a square. The hands-on experience reinforces geometric concepts in an engaging way. Saraswati Madam continues with the learners to create different figures. 
She guided the students to manipulate the orientation of the pieces by rotating or flipping them horizontally or vertically to achieve the desired figure. Thereafter, she discusses sides and vertices of the created figures. Saraswati Madam uses the geometric pieces of the Tangram puzzle while teaching fractions to explore concepts like whole and parts in class 5. For instance, let's take Tangram square. It represents the whole. What fraction is each puzzle piece of the whole? Of course, she reminds the students about the equal parts in a fraction. You can make any puzzle piece a whole and ask about the fraction of other parts with respect to the chosen whole. Hope you liked this creative journey into the world of tangrams. Next time you see a tangram puzzle, remember it's not just about putting pieces together. It's about connecting minds, enhancing skills and making learning a delightful experience. You can use it in middle classes to develop various mathematical concepts such as congruency, symmetry, area, perimeter and geometry as well as to investigate different types of triangles and the properties of some quadrilaterals. Mr. Singh is also looking forward to using tangrams for his class the next day. If you like this video, hit the like button and share this video with your colleagues and friends. Happy teaching!